All right, what is up, my friends? Welcome, welcome, welcome. More SCG Columbus practice. We're playing some modern, and we're playing a deck that is pretty cool. This is um, we played a deck like deck similar to this on stream a few months ago, trying out Experimental Frenzy and Affinity, and um, we were a little more all in than this is. But this list is uh, five would twice on Magic Online in the last like I don't know week or something, and we're gonna try it out. Just an Affinity deck. Playing three copies of Experimental Frenzy. Um, nothing too crazy as far as deck building goes. Uh, two Frogmites. Extra free cards. Might be better as Mem Knights, but four Galvanic Blast for a little reach, which is kind of cool. Um, and the usual stuff. Ravager, Plating, Overseer. A little lower curve. 17 lands, four Moxes. Uh, basic Planes is kind of interesting. We have Cyborg, Rest in Peace, Dispatch. Thoughtsies, Aether Grid, Grudge, Champion, a lot of the usual stuff here. And, um, deck seems kind of sweet, so we're going to play it in the league and try it out and see what it does. Let's go. What's up, Ross? See, Ross, I'm practicing. Look. Look at me. I'm good. Tell me I'm good. I'm practicing. Talking about practice? Of course, I'll be playing at SCG Columbus this weekend with, uh, Affinity, right? With my teammates from BCW, uh, Tan and Grace and Ross Merriam. And looking forward to that. It's going to be a lot of fun. It is a very unique event. It is Team Modern Non-Unified. As far as I know, this is the first time this event's ever happened um, like this. It's uh, it's just three modern players with no restrictions at all. All the players can play Tron. All the players can play uh, whatever they want, basically. And uh, don't know if there's really a way to game it, honestly, but... Figuring out what I'm going to play. So, yeah, Operation gets handed a trophy. Happy to be on board. Sand's pretty bad. Uh, if we had a red land, maybe I'd consider keeping. So we can, like, bowl the bird or something. But, like, the sand's pretty terrible. So, we're going to mulligan. No mirror enforcers. Disappointing, but probably correct. I mean, this hand is better. This, is, this, this kind of illustri illustrates the... The problem I usually have with Galvanic Blast and Affinity decks, it's not an artifact. It's not a creature, you know? Um, so it doesn't help your synergies out at all, but... Bottom along is a five. That's kind of them. We're going to bottom that. I think I want a red source. Can't play the artifact lands because they're banned, unfortunately. It would be nice. Obviously, four copies of... No, not Spacebar. Four copies of, um, what's it called? Great Furnace would be very nice in this deck. Got the, uh, the old windy curtains behind me. Like an old R&B video. That's a pretty good draw. Although it's kind of wasted because we have no uh, way to kill their creatures. and probably going to die, but... I mean, we have Ink Moth Nexus, I guess. It's not the end of the world. Kind of want that, um, that Thopter back, honestly. Boo, boo, da, boo, 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 boo. Just waiting for Usher to pop out shirtless. Ah! Uh, <sighs> Wanally Coulds. I like that. Thanks, Dorky Dad. That is uh, a fairly weak aura. Hopefully that's not a setup for a Daybreak Coronet, although it probably is, because if they kept a hand with a, with a Scout, two lands, and Spirit Mantle as their best aura, they probably have Coronet, so we're probably dead. I guess we have, we have Nexus, so I wouldn't mind drawing a land here. Or an Ornithopter. That does not help our our Nexus plan at all. Alright. We're doing it. It is a two turn clock. If we win this game, it's going to be essentially on a mulligan to three.
The problem here is if they go Coronet and leave mana up. Okay, they can't do that anymore. Heh, <laughs> they're just trying to drop Ath. They're just dead. Oh, Modern, welcome back. Raise your hand in chat if you love Modern. Raise those hands. Who doesn't love some Modern? Well, now I have a choice to make. Do we play around Path or not? I think we do play around Path. I think that equipping uh, Plating to Pest is still a good enough attack with our Galvanic Blasts and stuff too that I'm pretty fine waiting. Also, they can't cast a Coronet and Path in the same turn for two turns. So if it just slows them down, then it'll leave us up every every turn for the rest of the game. We just kill them with the, with the Pest. So let's do it. Um, you know, Vault Scourge. Ten bucks, Sonic. I feel you may like this deck. Who said anything about only being able to play four trackers? Sonic, that is a deck. Deck tech, activist, uh, activist league. <laughs> this is the kind of donation bonus league I can get behind, and it has Ironworks in it too. That's great. That is hilarious. I like it. I like it a lot. All right. Um. Anyway, what are we doing here? Oh yeah. Quip skis, tax skis. We do have three fire blasts in our hand, so. Do 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 do. It's a good pop song. Thanks, Sonic. I appreciate it. Ethereal armor. All right. Scout. So they are leaving out the path to exile. They only have two cards left. I mean, once the plating goes in the vault scourge, you probably can't win anyway. So. Might just be dead, actually. Can I get it upstairs in chat, please? There are nine. Number nine. That's a good draw. They're just like, I didn't even need to move that. I don't know why I did. Uh, I'll leave this back because they, they have path. So I can just jump block this. I can't block it. Never mind. All right, whatever. This is just like an overly excessive attack, but sure. Can I? I I, I was stupid. I I guess I I should tap for some mana. Whatever it doesn't matter. You're just dead. Die. Just go away. Pest should not have attacked. It's obviously a red source. What's up, Devin? They have path. It's a bad equip. I don't think it matters. Because, like, I guess we would gain one extra life, theoretically. But they're dead. We win. We're the best. They're the worst. Don't have any cyborg card here. Cyborg cards here. Um, they were cutting the blasts. Probably have Sony Silence too. That's bad. Overseer. Ugh. Hmm. Edge Champion doesn't even seem that good. Maybe I leave two blasts in. Just like kill random core spirit dancers and stuff. Or like go to the face. Um, if we think they might have Stony Silence. They probably have Stony Silence, obviously. Then... Dorky, thanks for watching, my friend. Appreciate it. You're the number one cheer person. I appreciate that. Um... Thing is, if they have Stony, we probably can't cast the Blast anyway, really, because we kind of can, but... We shave, like, two Overseers on the draw. Let's try this. Kind of wish there was a second wear and tear in the sideboard or some other enchantment removal spell, but. Yeah, spell scouting and spell wolves is obviously gas. 
Frenzy's like probably not great here. It's a very obviously very polarized matchup. Bogles is sort of like, did they draw? What's it called or not? What is with these hands? We should play some poker. Punter Mulligans to six. I mean, we can't keep this hand. It's got three of a kind, but this hand is a little more playable, I guess. It's not great, but. Thoughtsies. Uncastable. If it was castable, I'd keep it. God, they have a bogle. So lucky. Mm. One froggy boy. Right out one right why not run detection tower as a one of? Why not, you know? Why not? That song's really catchy. I should not have sang that song. They have they have Sony Silence probably. I should not play this. No, no, I don't. What's going on? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Meh. One short. What the hell is in their hand? How did they mana tithe again? We got mana tithe yesterday by, by Bogles. It was nasty. We still won, but it was nasty. I was amped. I was amped for our opponent that they mana tithe us. Their hand is so bad. What the hell is in their hand? What cards in their deck cost more than one or two mana? Like... Goober's here. Who would have thought Goober would uh, show up? Who would have thought? It's not the worst. Um, I feel like we're getting pathed here. Um, if we go for the Nexus equip. It's honestly fine. I don't really care. It's, yeah, it's fine, whatever. Let's go for it. They path us. It's whatever. Just get a land. We have a second nexus. So, opponent probably has. I can see my our opponent having multiple paths, but it's really not that big of a deal. I guess we only have one one more basic in our deck. That's a problem. So, eh, it's fun. So go. Get him. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, think, now I'm thinking about it. They probably have two paths. Because what the hell else could their hand be? Just no auras and no spirit dancers and no anything. So, no stony silence. Just nothing. Spider Umbra. Right. Question is, do we frenzy next turn? Let's see what they do. No Daybreak Coronet. That's cool. Yeah, we're frenzying for sure. Can't cast that. Could have Nature's Claim. It's fair. It's a card. Um, I guess we just bash first. I would trade a Frogmite for an Umbra. Yeah, it's fine. And I, I, I think it's likely they have removal here, so not equipping is fine. We'll just cast our Frenzy. If they have more removal spells, then it behooves us to play a more grindy game, which is exactly what Frenzy does. So. I can't wait to get Manatithed. Raise your hand in chat if you are stoked to get mana tithed. I want to see every person in, in chat raise their hand. I'm not casting this frenzy until I see at least 20 hands in chat. Nick, Nikki, new sub, what's your name, where are you from? Welcome, my friend. That's one hand, two hands. I'm only counting one hand per person. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's eleven. I need nine more. I'm not, I'm not casting the frenzy. Ten, eleven, uh, twelve, thirteen, 14, 15. I need five more. We're just going to sit here. 16, 17, 18, 19. There we go. All right. Here it comes. 
do, 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 do. Please? Come on, Manatite. Come on, just do it. Oh. Pawn's lame. Rack canopy? Man, their hand sucks. We will turn this van right around, mister! Don't worry, opponent. They're saying boo earns. No coronet, please. Crap. Um. Alright, this frenzy better be good. Because they now have a the reach is the important part. A reach, first strike, lifelink, vigilance attacker. Alright, here comes the frenzy. It's gonna be land, land. There's one, there's two. Alright, awesome. Thanks for playing, appreciate that. Um. Force the path? How can I force a path? They have a fl have a first strike reach blocker. Nothing will. They'll not get up. There's no block. We got nothing. We're not attacking the frenzy. We're gonna get him next turn. Don't you worry. Frenzy fail. Robert, nine month resub. Thank you. Sub baby. Robert, what's the name of our sub baby? Can't play Ravager. They have a frenzy in play. Oh my god. Hmm. I don't think we can win. It's Daybreak Cornet's stupid card. I guess we could just like have an insane chain of Mem Knights and Ornithopters and a Ravager or two. Ornithopter. Storm count one. Land. Storm count two. Plating is storm count three. Wait, I think I brought in wear and tear. Mox opal, storm count four. Mox opal, storm count five. I guess add a uh, red, I guess. That's our second land, I believe. Yeah. All right, so we can plating, and they only gain eight life. I don't think we can deal 30 whatever million points of damage. All right, they got us. They got us, it's all right, it's fine. A, B, C, D, E, what? <laughs> they can block it is reach everyone spider umbra if they didn't have spider umbra we had that game barring a path but they had spider umbra so we died um oh i didn't have trample did it eh we're not gonna win anyway whatever uh let's see Signal Pest doesn't have flying, but it says blocked by flying or reach. So, all right, let's um, now we're on the play. Steel Overseer is a lot better on the play. It's still really soft to Stony Silence, but let's cut the blast, maybe. Yeah, screw it. Let's go full synergy. I 
mean, this hand can't beat a stony silence, but we're going to keep it, so. Mirror Enforcer is not good enough, no. I kept seven, too. Could be in trouble here. This matchup seems hard. I got basic forest. It's weird. Makes casting daybreaks harder. Is that more lands in their hand? Wow, Mox Opal. All the cards. I guess you want to play a Ravager. So if they play um, because if they play a a Thingamabobber, that thingy with the thingy, I can play everything. Never mind. Yeah, I can just actually do everything. Ravager. Frogmite. And then I can tap Frogmite for draw. Yeah, tap this for mana. Play Drum, tap Ravager for mana, play Plating. All right. If they have Sony Silence, I'll have one very large Ravager. And hopefully it's good enough. If they don't have Sony Silence, our hand's really good, so. Wow. So you're saying there's a chance. Where's that ink mod nexus when we need it? Top deck frenzy? That'd be fun. I'd take it. We have a lot of good draws here. Uh I mean we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is a nine power creature. And they can't coronet us next turn. So I mean it's not the best draw, but it's actually fine. The flying is pretty relevant for next turn. Um, we also have instant speed equipped too. It's kind of nice. Let's put the put this here, and then attack with both. Interesting. All right, I mean, just like a drum. Now I'm gonna take nine now, but I think I'll I think I'll take this. They have to do a lot next turn. We even need to sack the Thopter if they have a uh, a coronet and no trample. They go Rancor coronet here. Probably in trouble. Oh God, come on. Don't you do this to me. I'm not watching, I'm not watching, I'm not watching, I'm not watching. Everything's fine. They're playing Temple Garden tapped. They're tapping the planes. They're path to exiling their own creature, and they're saying go. Yeah. God damn it! Every time. All right. Well, now we're in huge trouble. Um, this is like a hundred million. So I have to deal seventeen damage next turn. Draw plating, it's doable. Let's draw plating. I don't know if it's enough or not, but can't block sack it. I, it, I can block sack, but it has trample. That's why the rancor is important. They need it to be exactly rancor plus coronet, or we were fine. Now I'm not sure what it needs to be. Signal pass is probably not it. <sighs> I 
They also have five cards in hand. There is zero chance we live next turn. Actual zero. Fighting was one short. That's why I keep Ross around. Ross does the math for me. No. It would have been good, Ross. I could have sacked the Ravager and Majored two counters. Not never mind, two platings. Not one plating. You're right. Alright, well, maybe they have all Temple Gardens in their hand. Right? Last turn went so well. I'm sure this this turn will go well too. It's not a movie. Sometimes the bad guys win. I love Ross, but I would not give Ross the responsibility of a sword. Seal of Primordium. That makes it probably pretty hard to win. Hmm. Mox Opal. Well, I don't think we're dealing 18 damage here. Alright, that sucked. Our hand was pretty good, but their hand was better. Oh and one. If you're sitting here, welcome to the stream. My name's Jim Davis. Frenzy Affinity. That was a that was a tough one. I should have had that one. Let's go. Ravager big enough to block? I mean, they have a... Just, no. <laughs> they have a Seal of Armordium in play. They play any Aura, we're dead. Like, we got nothing. Uh, sounds good. It's not amazing, but it's good. Donation Leagues will be opening very soon. I wanted to launch my website and reopen donation bonus leagues at the start of the year. It was freaking Christmas time. It didn't happen. All right. It'll happen eventually. Stay tuned. I also started the Bronze to Mythic series because Arena is so exciting right now. So our opponent's name is Baron of Bacon. God, our opponent's so cool. Put mulligan to five. Okay, I was gonna chastise them for keeping a hand that went far stirrings playing Tron, but they mulligan to five. They're, they're doing the right thing. Uh, that wasn't bad. It's not like, oh yeah, that's insane. Oh my god, that's nuts. You used to call me on my. Not really a frenzy game, unfortunately. We could cast frenzy and turn turn three here, but. Pawn has turned four Tron the fastest. They are dead. Dead. Locks anonymous list? Nah. I don't think Loxodon fits into like the, tra the traditional affinity shell. 93! Two months in a row. Thanks so much, my friend. Welcome back. That second month's the important one. Thanks so much for coming back and supporting me. I appreciate it. You great. I couldn't do what I do without y'all. Can I Nexus kill them? This is one, two, three, four, five, six. Not quite. Can I plating equip on the Nexus? No. Should I play should I play Nexus last turn? I mean plating? I should have played plating last turn. I'm an idiot. I had them dead in two turns with Nexus. Yeah, that's bad. Alright. Stop giving Ross your money. Ross, you're a new sub. What's your name? Where are you from?
Yeah, nine's not enough. I mean, there's dead next turn either way, I guess, but... Mostly? Yeah. You're getting value, Ross. You're getting value. The love machine. Radic Sphere, whatever. Just die, opponent. Just draw any artifact next turn and they're dead. It's dead anyway. It's like Ravager, Ravager's 2. Yeah, they're just dead, whatever. Ravager's plus 1 if you sacrifice it. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Ross Merriam is our new sub from Middletown, Connecticut. Favorite card, Vendillion Click. Favorite deck is Sea Stompy from Kamigawa Ravnica Standard. That was like the, the Curd Ape Ninja of a Deep Hours deck, right, Ross? We're so old. Name the puppy anything that's not magic related. Unfortunately, the puppy counter is uh, is dead. There is no more puppy counter. If you want to know why, go watch the video I posted on YouTube yesterday. I explained uh, about move and stuff. And uh, we're for, foreseeably, we're not in a house for a while, so we can't get a puppy if we, until we move. So puppy counter is on hold, unfortunately. Videos in chat, you can check that out. Um, Thoughtseize. Uh, not really a frenzy matchup. Grudge is not really good either. Let's take out two frenzy. We're trying to race. So. All right, puppy counter is delayed. It's not. It's not off the. Totally off the menu. It's just not a a possibility at the moment. So. Yeah, not a lot of sideboard here for Tron, honestly. Well, I guess our clock's pretty fast, so. Yeah, that's basically it. The Bork counter's still there. The Bork counter's not going anywhere. But. This hand's good. It needs it needs something. We have a very good opening and then nothing really to follow up, but we draw a Ravager, an Overseer, a Plating, a Thoughtseize, um, a Frenzy. It's turn two Frenzy. Yeah, I'm going to keep this. The opponent mulligan to six. I'm always happy also with this hand being on the draw because we just like have more shots at our good cards. The opponent mulligan to four, so... We did, we, we did have an opponent mulligan to four yesterday and destroy us playing Tron. That's what Tron does. That's not great. I'm not loving these blasts. Because I want Nexus to attack next turn, possibly, so... Not even going to pave a life. All right. Uh, payoff card. God, I, these blasts are killing me. Uh, yeah, we're probably going to lose. Again, part of the downside of putting blasts in your deck is that it doesn't do anything with the rest of your cards. And that's a problem. They just go like Tower O Stone? No? Alright. I don't think we blast. Good lord. I brought those great cards I said we could draw that would do lots of good stuff. We haven't drawn any of them. Tilt. Man, that had just come into play. It was turn one. 
Alright, that plays. They're just dead, right? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight? No. They're almost dead. Uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, not quite. All right, I mean... If I'm not back in five minutes, just wait longer. I suppose you should have gotten in for one there. That was dumb. I don't know why I thought that, like... I don't know. Yeah. Oh, they have two poison already! I'm so stupid! It's so hard to see up in the left there. Why isn't it somewhere more visible on the screen? Oh, I'm used to Arena being so fun and easy to use. Ugh. Ugh. Well, hope we don't get punished. I mean, Arena doesn't have impact, but if Arena had impact, like the avatar would like glow green or something cool like that, you would you wouldn't be able to miss it. Can I have contortion? Hmm. Or dismember, yeah. Maybe we just attack and don't don't do it. Maybe I just sacrifice like the drum and the citadel and just get some damage in. Yeah, that seems better. This is five, six. If I sack two more things and they have anything, I lose instantly. This way, it's got to be like basically Ulamog. It's five, six. And then we have eight in our hand. It's 14. No, I should go for lethal here, actually. We'll just, we'll just sack the, uh, sack something else. Yeah, and then, then we have three and then three. Yeah. So six. Wait. Six plus eight. Yeah. This place. You did. I won anyway. I'm the best. 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 Could have won last turn, but chose not to. I mean, maybe last turn they had a. I had a contortion or something, honestly. Maybe I actually played really smart. Maybe I'm actually really intelligent. All right, one on one. Frenzy Affinity. Let's go. Plants and Modern. SCG Columbus this weekend. Who's going to Columbus? Raise your hand in chat. Is the goal to win or to play as much mag magic as possible? Playing magic is fun. It is fun. Ugh. Whew. All right. Frog my time. I'm eating a little snacky right now because I'm pretty hungry.
Frenzy next turn. What's going on here? Temple Garden Forest. I think I'm happy with basically any card in my deck but another Frenzy. Yeah, please. Alright. Alright. What are they doing? Alright. There's like a lingering soul or something? What the hell's going on here? Life's easy. Um, Abzan, stupid something, I guess. Might have Stony Silence. Got some of these Galv Blasts, maybe. Maybe bring in some, like, Aether Grids. Uh, let's cut all the Galv Blasts. I hate Galv Blast, honestly. Bring in one wear tear. Seems almost not even worth it. Maybe cut an overseer, maybe. Leave the frogs in, cut one overseer. Make us a little better against Sunny Silence. Sure. We actually know what our opponent's deck is doing, so. I mean, there's no way they're, they're Vizier voted Druid combo. They played, they played, they had no one drops and no two drops. You know, probably just some dumb Abzan mid range deck. They played a Swamp, thought about casting Lingering Souls, and decided they were an idiot and conceded. Ooh, this ain't spicy. Don't thought seize me. I'll keep. I mean, maybe. A bad start for us. Another overseer next turn. Captain says, "Abrupt decay." All right. Captain says, "Got our frenzy's gonna be so good." What do I think is a good low floor deck, easy to play for new players? Girl wants to start going to F and M, and I want to get her an easy modern deck to learn. Um, I'd say Burn Tron. I would do the easier decks in the format, as far as like you know. Does powerful stuff without needing to be like you can make mistakes and still it still do fine. Uh, elves is good. I think elves is kind of underrated. Um, there's definitely a good option. We could cast the champion here, but I'm trying to cast the overseer. So, so I think um, those are all good. I think the most important thing is just like play one deck and just play it for a little bit and learn it. Path sure. Are you saying we're casting frenzy next turn? Oh, I can't wait. God, give me the frenzy. God, give me the frenzy. Let's go. Let's go. Who's pumped for this frenzy? Who's ready to get manatized? God damn it. I hate it. I didn't put the Memnite. I'm such an idiot. I was so excited. I'm some. I'm, I'm a moron. Who needed it? You know? Who needed it? <laughs> waka waka. 
Uh, please like Assassin's Trophy or something. <laughs> Poor Mem Mem Knight's like, no! What about me? <laughs> that's, that's so funny. Alright, spring my drum. Single best. Uh, yep. I wish I had those uh those bolts in my deck still. We have a Aether Grid, which would be really good. Uh alright. Vault Scourge. Land. Spring wave drum. Damn it. Alright, I mean, it's not, not a bad turn. Thankfully, they have Vizier and not Devoted Druid, so they can't go off next turn. Honestly, I just want to find, want to, want to find a. What's it called? Uh, Aether Grid. It's acting for three. Yeah, you got it. You, you can't do anything about it. You got me. Alright, here we go. Spire of Industry. Vault Scourge. I'm just paying all life. I don't, I don't care. I got, I got no fear at all. God. But all these lands in my deck. Um, do we blow up the Frenzy? We can cast... No, we can't cast... We're one short of casting Champion. That's still Blow up Frenzy and cast Mem Knight? Nah. Stack. They could have company. Don't have company. They definitely have company. No. Hmm. Can't win. What the hell is that? Garage! Mm, this is kind of tempting. Killing Vizier makes it really hard with the combo. Um, but I might just kill them in the air next turn. This is a pretty tempting block, actually. I think I like blocking here. Like, they only have two cards in hand. They have to combo to kill us, I think. They're not going to beat us with a, tri with a Tyler Striker. I'm blocking here. They have a kill spell. It's also fine. Hopefully we just find plating and kill them, so... I'm cool with this. Alright. Planes. Cranial plating. Ah. Uh, Blank Mot Nexus. God, we double land a lot. Alright, now we're going to just slam an instant equip and just say go, I guess. Made the diamond. No, we're still in platinum one. Only in time for one episode of uh, Bronze to Mythic today. No blocks. Mm. I should have left one creature back so I could double instant equip. Put it on the the pest, I guess. I'm assuming they have a removal spell here. Yeah, I probably should just regular equipped. Obviously, I'm an idiot. I'm not spending, not spending my mana, obviously. So this is fine. All right, they have a decay. Um. All right. I mean, it's fine. Once again, they're it, they're not going to beat us playing a fair game. We have a frenzy in play, you know. Like, so if they just want to kill our stuff, that's fine. As long as they don't combo kill us, I'm not really worried. All right, see that that worries me. I would like to win next turn, if possible, and it is possible. Aether Vial and As Foretold. It's too many moving parts. Here we go. Ravager is probably game. 
Ravager number two. Also really good. Cranial plating. Not too shabby. Signal pest. I think that's not really necessary. Sure. That was a good frenzy game. That was fun. Pretty cool. Alright, so we're 2 and 1. We lost to a Bogles deck that ran hotter in the sun. Also, we have no real answers for them. But, deck seems good so far. These frog mites are a little suspect. And I don't know about like 4 galvanic blasts, but that's our deck. It's right there. The stream decker never updated. So I never. I could try and put it on again. Oh, that's working. You folks tuning in, welcome to the stream. My name is Jim Davis. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Have hit that follow button. Make sure you hit that follow button on Twitch. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure you follow on there. Check out coolstuffinc.com, my home on the web, for my articles and all the best, uh, all the best gaming stuff, hence the name. Coolstuffinc.com, all your card games, magic, of course, well, other card games, board games, miniatures, role playing games, supplies, you name it. Pre order your Ravnica Allegiance stuff and check out my articles. We had a, uh, a video article on Monday with Modern Battle of Wits and an article on uh, last Friday all about my decks this year. Check it out. CoolStuffInc.com. You can use promo code JIM5 for 5% off your next order on CoolStuffInc.com. Yeah, yeah. Vargasaurus Rex. Thanks for following. Don't forget also, subscribing to the stream is the best way to support me as a Magic player. Hold on. Do, 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 do. Subscribing to me is the best way to support me as a Magic player and as a streamer. This is my full-time gig, so I do for a living. I stream here on Twitch, write articles, and produce videos for CoolStuffInc.com. Do videos on YouTube. Uh, travel to tournaments for Team BCW. And uh, eat food for you. While the microphone's muted. We can do this. The secret deck is to use Gym 100 and get all your stuff for free. Don't quote me on that. I did not say that. Someone else did. You just play drum here, right? I mean, we can guess turn to your frenzy with the draw. Uh, no, we can't. Yeah, we can with the frog bite. Ooh. I like it. Let's go. Kirby! 5 on 3 sub. One short of frog bite. Oop. No fun. Opponent, not fun at all. Ever. It's a good draw. Uh, Pest Frog Ravager, yeah, it's a fun. I'm gonna activate the next it. Nah, that doesn't work. I assume they're playing Shadow. Oops. So, gotta be careful with our our damaging. Exactly what we attack with is going to be interesting this turn. Mountain. Do I think Birds of Paradise can replace Noble Hierarch in Banned Spirits if you're on a budget? I mean, it can replace it. It's obviously the logical replacement. It's not going to be as good, but it wouldn't be that much different. It's still doing a similar uh, similar thing. I'm going to get frisky here.
Worst case, they have like push push or bolt push or something. And like, we gotta attack. We actually also have lethal on the Nexus if we sacrifice everything. So if I go to kill two of my things, I could go for the, the Nexus kill. Assuming the signal pass trigger goes off. Oh boy, here we go. Uh, all right. So you got a bolt pest here, right? Rich dead. They're bolting the ravager. Uh right, because we the pest, the pest didn't attack yet. Okay. Um. Hmm. It's a pretty interesting call. You used to call me on my hey, it is eight. I don't know why I don't know why I kind of ten. I'm an idiot. Um Yeah, I'll probably probably think about that too. In fact I forgot about last game. I found it. There it is. It's not in this game. Alright, so we're they're, they're bolting here. We're gonna stack at least one drum. Um and then we're going to modular onto, not the Nexus, that's just too all in. Um, I think putting it on Thopter is reasonable. I think I don't, I don't think we need to sacrifice both drums. I guess everything in our deck costs two or less, except for Frenzy. Yeah, we're going to the Thopter for sure. Um, the question is how deep... Oh, duh, it's a bolt. It's not a push. Yeah, keep the Ravager alive, duh. I'm an idiot. Uh, yeah. Wake up, Jim. Jeez. Only there's a blink mod nexus. This is fine though. It's gonna be pretty hard for them to piece together a defense if their best cards last turn were Thought Scour Lightning Bolt. Cool. I'll take it. Alright, champs are in. Uh, I guess Dispatch is it. I kind of wish this was a Path to Exile and not Dispatch, honestly, but Galvanic Blast is the awkward one. What do we want to do with Galvanic Blast? It's obviously can be really good if they're shadowing, but doesn't actually kill anything. I think Frogmite's an easy out. Is Overseer bad in these matchups? It seems bad. Just ties to literal everything. Then we don't we leave these in. Cut like one blast. I have no idea, honestly. Spell Sky also seems like okay against like bolts and stuff. I guess Rest in Peace also is like pretty good against them. I don't have too much air, though, you know? We kind of... Not friends, he's got to be too good. I kind of like Rest in Peace, too.
Is Overseer better than Spellskite? I think you're supposed to board out Overseer these matchups. I don't. I don't know. I. I don't. I don't play Affinity ever. So, like, I'm worried we're a little airy. I guess all of our blasts are out. Let's try this. We're on the draw. Maybe on the play, we can be a little more aggressive. Seer is always the first cut. Yeah, I've heard that. That's what. That's what I was going off of. Hmm. Wasn't me. It's Burnsy. This hand's pretty good. So, a good hand or, uh, or nah? Huh. Alright, bombs away. We are, um... It's fine. They push here. They push here, and now I don't, I don't know how much to attack with. They have Tarn. I guess they have Tarn. They want to cast Shadow. They can cast Shadow anyway. Uh, whatever. I mean, they control how much damage they take with Tarn. I can't not attack. Playing Shadow is so hard, and then playing against Shadow is also very difficult. I imagine they fetch tapped here. Yeah. Alright. Nothing again? So... Uh, I mean, I want to cast Frenzy. <laughs> we need to leave something back if you want to cast Frenzy. Let's move the combat, see what they do. They want us to act with everything. It's three, four, five, six, seven. Put them to three. Oh, what are they doing? Why are they letting me attack? They had a removal spell, they definitely would have killed the pest, right? What the hell's in their hand? Alright, I'll just attack, I guess. I mean, if, if they don't have anything else, they probably have Stubborn Denial, so... I guess that makes sense. I didn't consider that. Alright, that makes me kind of sad. If 
I considered that, I might have left back the Mem Knight. All right, that's fun. Seven seven. That's also good. Ugh. We cast Frenzy or we cast Edge Champion. It's always something, you know. It's got to be Edge Champion. I want to cast Frenzy really bad, but that is not an option. So now we're gonna attack because we have Lethal next turn theoretically. They have a Battle Rage and some shenanigans. They still can't really kill us. They'll have a 9-9 Double Striker. We have two toughness to block and stuff, so... Yeah. Works for me. We played the uh, Shadow side of his matchup yesterday. I think it's good for Affinity. Alright, this deck's pretty cool. We're 3-1, and, and our loss is kind of like... Whatever, we lost the Bogles. Deck seems sweet. If you're just tuning in, welcome to the stream. My name's Jim Davis. How's it going? Don't forget to hop on over to bcwsupplies.com. Team BCW is my squad. They've been sponsoring me for three years. I've been using their stuff. It's awesome. This thing has been across the country to SCG Tour events for the last th three years. It's been to like 60 or 70 trips. Look at this thing. It's awesome. Check it out. You can go to BC bcwsupplies.com. Get 10% off your order with my code JIM10. And, uh, yeah. They have great sleeves. A lot of their, all their older stuff is on sale right now, too. They're coming out with a new gaming line late January. New sleeves, new deck boxes, new binders. So the older stuff is uh, on sale at a discount right now. So check that out. Well, it's not bad, Ross. It's not bad. Last seen deck, Ironworks. Okay. You used to call me on my We're gonna keep Turn to Overseer on the play. Hand's not great, but I'm gonna keep. For the new sleeves? Uh, all the colors. You got trades? Anyone got trades? Trades? Anyone? BCW Challenge this Friday? Yes, we are. Check out the BCW Twitter for information. All right, they are iron working. I mean, a little concerned giving our given our hand, but trades. Mindstone, sure. Sand seems good from them. Traits. Mox Opal. Uh, that's scary. Could die next turn. Could definitely die next turn. That's not bad. If we leave Blast up. We could kill a... Uh, what's it called? I'm going to leave Blast up. I don't think getting it for two poison here really matters. Or three, whatever. I mean, it does, actually. We just kill him next turn. So we get him for three poison here. The next turn, it's three, four, five. It's six. It's only nine. It's not enough. Yeah, I'm just going to blast up. Don't kill me, please. I don't know if Blast can break them up or not, but... This list is from the internet. 
This list five out of league uh, this week. I saw Jarvis U talking about it on Twitter, so I tried it out. Bonds him a tank. Up oh, they're back. Damn net deckers. Filthy net decking. Monsters. I don't think we have lethal, do we? I just counted it. I didn't, I didn't get lethal. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh, we do have lethal. I'm, I'm stupid. I just can't count. Who would have thought? I can't count. I'm a, I'm a grown man. Can't, just can't count. All right. Yeah, I mean, we're going to go for uh, go for the killsies. Drum. Because there's no reason to nexus, right? I mean, I don't even know if they can do anything, right? Like, what could they have? Battle cry. Love that hidden power and toughness. How big is it? I don't know. No idea. Up four two now. Now there it is. Can I slow roll them because they're playing ironworks? Can I? All right, turn four kill. Perhaps today is a good day to die. When you draw a good mix of lands, enablers, and payoffs, and a blast, blast is fine. Math majors are notorious for their inability to count. Now you're a man, 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 man. Now you're a man, m -m 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 man. Uh, don't think this is a frenzy matchup. Um, do I even want grudge. I don't think I want grudge. Um, I think we cut a blast. And just try and get him. Rest in peace, Thoughtseize, couple hate cards. I count good. I don't think I want any shatters. I'm just gonna do this. Now you're a man. John, uh so John, my my eight year old stepson has celiac. He can't have gluten. It's like a pretty recent development. And I found out that his, his kids' vitamins had gluten in them. So for a week or two, he had to eat my vitamins. And it says, you know, men's vitamins on it in huge letters. So he, he was like, can I have your man vitamins? And I was like, now you're a man, 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 man. And he looked at me very funny. And then started singing it also. Uh, yeah, Mulligan. Mm, yeah, I mean, we're going to keep. It's not great, but... Frogmite. So we have Land, Mox, Thopter, nothing. Yeah, I bottom that. Try to get lucky and get a, an artifact of some kind. You post a link? Depends on what it is, malicious. Depends on what it is. Yeah, it's not quite it. It's close. It's not quite it. Uh, suppose there's no reason to play Mox Opal yet. That kind of sucks. If only they could see each other for a brief moment. They're probably dead. Alright. I mean... Uh, oh, I mean, uh, all right, that plays. It's probably just play Mox Mox Ravager, right? Not the worst. It's not great, but something.
Nyramurn. Oh my god, now what? Sigh. Nice Galvanic Blast, Jim. Thanks. Oh yeah. Galvanic Blast is the best card ever printed. Light him up. Do I sack the Mox Opal? Um, I think so. I think so. Is that wrong? If I had Ravager first. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm an idiot. I just hadn't decided what I was going to do yet. I'm dumb. Pwn's got a lot of cards. Reshard. Green Saline. Resub. Woo Modern. Thanks for following, everyone. Appreciate it. Thanks to the resubs. If you're just tuning in, welcome to the stream. My name is Jim Davis, practicing for SCG Columbus this weekend, playing some modern. That's right, taking a break from Arena. I did episode 10 of Bronze to Mythic earlier today on uh, this stream. If you missed it, that'll be up on YouTube. YouTube, y'all. YouTube's currently up to episode 5 on Bronze to Mythic with one episode every day. Every other day, sorry. Starrings, yeah. I mean, we're not doing much here. We are just sitting here and praying we don't die. Mox Opal's probably bad for us. All right. I mean, it's not good, but our stuff's pretty big now, so... We're Platinum 1 on Arena. God damn it. Melvin. With Doctor, it doesn't really matter, realistically, but that's the one card that punished me for, for selling up in my Mox Opal for some more damage. Whatever. I only have three cards in hand. Three, four, five, ten, eleven. Yeah, not there yet. I mean, we're probably dead. Hopefully, we don't die. All right, here we go. Raise your hand in chat if you want this card to be banned. This card right here. I better see seven hundred and four hands. No, check that. I better see fourteen hundred hands because everyone's gonna put both hands in the air. Aether Grid? Uh, okay. Deal one to me? Am I gonna die? God damn it, I hate this stupid deck so much. Yes. I wrote an entire article about why Ironworks should be banned. You can look it up. Long and short of it is, it just skirts too many of the rules in too many stupid ways. The loops are obnoxious. It's an impossible to explain to a new player. It has multiple instances of abusing the rules in ways that are very, very hard to understand. I think it adds nothing to the format. It's a solitaire deck. I, the the eggs decks are banned for the exact same reason. Um, uh, you got blue. Meat. Like this is not fun.
No, I want to see exactly Ironworks go. I don't think you need to you need, you need to destroy Tron and all these, all these other decks by killing Stirrings. I think that the card Crack Clan Ironworks it should go by itself because it's it's egregious. No ballista. Type in Jim Davis ban like bannings or ban discussion. Like, have they, have they executed a loop? I don't know. I don't want to pay attention. Right, whatever. We can't beat the all adopters anyway. I'm sure we're just dead. Lame. All right, now we're on the play. Um, anything different on the play? I don't think so. I think I'm happy with three Galv. Maybe I want, maybe I want four Galv blasts. And three's probably fine. We have thought these two. Yeah, it's fine. Do I think <laughs> Rabbit Wall will be good troll? I was like, what? Ah, uh, I get it. Yes, Opt is far too powerful for standard. Now you don't want Grudge. Killing their artifacts doesn't do anything. Once they play Ironworks, they win. It's not like you can kill the Ironworks and stop them from winning. And that requires you to leave mana up and have a card that doesn't kill them. Sand's fine. It's the same thing damage-wise. But better if I don't play something next turn. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah, see that that that, that makes the pest better than the Vault Scourge by drawing Ornithopter. Because so I'm obviously casting Overseer this turn. And now Pest attacks for two next turn instead of one. Whereas Vault Scourge would only attack for one. So Vindicated, I am selfish, I am wrong. Why well, is that over hardened scales? I don't know, it's sweet. My article this week is gonna be about the guild abilities in the new set, because everyone keeps bugging me about it. So look for my article on Friday, I'll talk all about each mechanic in the new set. Capiche? Cool. Alright, this is like fine. It's a pretty fast goldfish. Like they might just be dead next turn. Um, can I Ink Moth them instead? If I just like play Ravager, Modular, fire up Ink Moth, and just kill them next turn? Yeah, they, well, they, can, they play a Psy and a token, it kind of throws it off. Um, I mean, it's definitely this, at least. So the options are Nexus Pump or Vault Scourge Pump. Next turn, if I don't pump, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You still have lethal anyway. Yeah, it's, I'm still with the Vault Scourge. I'm pretty sure that the Nexus can kill next turn, even without pumping it this turn. Once again, I have not done the math, but. All right. I mean, if they kill me this turn, I'll be pretty impressed. The worst case scenario is probably like Psy, like Mox Welding Jar or something. God damn it. They're, 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 they're just going to turn three us. This is so sick. No, you definitely don't want Grudge. What does Grudge do in this board state right now? It does nothing. They, they said just have everything. God, I hate everything. Just turn three. It's casual turn three. Oh, double trawler. Yep. Are we dead? Probably dead. Maybe not. And it's like the trawler. Yeah, we're just dead. <sighs> Ban Ironworks. They killed us turn three on the play.
Are they blowing this up? They are blowing this up. Uh, are they able to loop this and destroy all my stuff? That would suck. All right, yeah. Just ban the ironworks. Why, why ban trawlers? Ban ironworks. We can't even cast grudge. Like, and casting, we would have had to leave up grudge on our turn four, even if we could cast it and not develop our board, just in case they kill us on turn four. On turn three, I mean. I mean, it's fine. All right. I mean, we're going to have a really big signal best. I'll probably just get that back too, though. We're just dead. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why I'm still playing. All right, whatever. All right. I mean, that was very unfun. They just turned three of us on the play. Not very fun. Not very fun at all. Ban ironworks, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. It's a pop mancer. All in all, the deck seems pretty sweet, though. I kind of like it. Um. Yeah, deck's cool. Uh, seems pretty good. A little scary because there's a lot of stony silences out there, but on the whole, deck seems pretty cool. I'm not sure what I would change exactly, but probably shave a blast. Um, not sure, but deck's pretty sweet. So that's gonna do it. That's it, folks. Um, it is about two thirty. I. Jawing is off the bus in about a half an hour, so no time to really start anything new. Um, I'll, I'll run that video, my my end of year video, and then I may be on later with a practice stream with uh, no microphone, just the music playing. Um, but yeah, so YouTube folks, I'll see you, my folks later. Make sure you follow and uh, check it out.